Hi, my name is Atiba Jefferson. I'm a stance pumpkin poet and a photographer. Welcome back to part two. This is really my favorite photo of Andrew Reynolds that I've ever shot. He was moving to California. I met him in Florida and drove out with his car and all his stuff. And we stopped at my hometown of Colorado Springs. This is shot in 1995. This is where I skateboarded every day from the time I was 13 to 18. So I learned everything about life at this park called Acacia Park in Colorado Springs. Looking back, having this legendary skater like 27 years ago in my hometown, it really means a lot. You never really realize what you're shooting until time goes by. This is Louis Lopez. This is my favorite picture I've ever shot of Louis. Um, he's half cab flipping over this bar. It's just available light, no flashes. Once again, super simple. But I really love that this dude, really stylish dude, happened to just sit and watch. But it's just a really cool composition. And, and when shooting skateboarding, usually you don't want anyone in the background. But for this instance, it was really cool to have this guy there. So I really love this. Very, very, very LA. -ish. Photo. This one means a lot to me too. Uh, this is Beatrice. This one means a lot to me because she just got on the FA and I thought it was a really cool moment to be able to get uh, Jason a photo and it was really cool, you know, to see once again female skateboarding and a woman of color be on the team. It's, um, we're seeing a lot of change and progression in skateboarding and I think it's great and I was just really honored to shoot her photo. This is Neck Face. This is um, really funny because he was doing a film with Ty Evans, a short film, and he's just dressed up like a monster. His teeth are all look like they're shaved down and like he's been eating garbage. Yeah, I just, Neck Face is just so full of energy. And this is actually available light. Funny enough, like, I probably shot this like 3200 wide open. You know, shooting with Neck is always a good time because He's an artist and he always thinks about how to make things look different. Um, this is Iverson. I mean, Iverson is one of the greatest of all times. And I'm so lucky to have a relationship with Alan over the years. I've probably shot him like 10 times. But this photo to me, which is shot back in the day in the film days, this is shot on a Hasselblad. You know, it's just a very intimate moment with him. I didn't ask him to do that, but it just shows his pure love for basketball. This shoot was really, really important to me because he was on the 76ers. They were about to play the Lakers in the finals and just the energy around him, he was unstoppable. So very, very psyched to be able to shoot him at that point.